All right, boys, today we're defending Valve, which is odd because of recent events, but let's just get it over with. All right, so Valve is being sued again, and not the reason they've been sued before is mainly for being called a monopoly company, aka them doing nothing is apparently bad. But who is the one behind it? It's okay. So if you go to the website, I'm going to read the PC article first, and then we'll talk about the website and stuff. The lawsuit filed on behalf of Children's Digital Rights, which is a digital, which is a thing mostly in the UK being hosted by this woman named Vicky Shotbolt, which I will admit that's a, that's a pretty banger last name. I'm not going to lie. Is filing this on behalf because apparently Valve is being accused of overcharging 14 million PC gamers and abusing its dominance position in the UK. Now, what does she mean by this? Basically thinking that, okay, overcharging people on UK, and I've, I have double checked this before, I verify the prices and stuff, is that people is basically, she thinks that people are being overcharged in the UK for their prices. Because if, you, uh, if I were to buy something like Helldivers 2 right now, full price, for $39.99, but if I were to buy it in the UK, I would be paying £35. 35, no, sorry, not 35, fuck. 34 99 pounds and if you run that through a currency converter and stuff 34 34 99 is essentially you're paying four dollars and 95 cents more if you're counting an extra cent if you want to be like that you're paying a lot you're paying like a you could say like a 10 percent more of the original game's pricing and i will admit she has a point about this but here's the thing that, that there is a few things that contradict this i mean not contradict because it doesn't excuse it okay one the other games other places like nintendo and playstation they do the same thing with their games and stuff and two this is not really on a valves thing this is more so has to do with like inflation and tax thing this has more to do with like inflation and how taxes are being ran so i wouldn't really put valve on blame for this but who knows i mean they're the price managers i guess although i'm not sure really if they are i'm not a lawyer i'm just saying i'm just pointing it out the second point might be bullshit but the first point i mean other people are doing it so yeah doesn't it still it doesn't excuse valve's pricing but third point i want to bring up is that steam has a steam is in my opinion is honestly the best place i know where you can get actual good deals honestly like i think that website is honestly the best place if you're looking for a good deal like sure we have sony and nintendo and xboxes with their sales but honestly in my opinion i think sometimes their sales kind of fall flat like sure they will find some actually pretty good ones for a good price but at the end of the day i honestly think like a steam sale is honestly good like if you're honestly looking for a game to buy and you don't want to pay the full price for it just wait till it goes on sale honestly not and i'm not saying that this doesn't excuse the pricing obviously i mean hell even the game price even the sale prices are also overcharge as well but still i it's still a good compromise until like a better i don't know until something like i don't know the inflation goes down or something i don't know that's up to you that's up to you okay uh, but look steam has good sales in my opinion they're the best place if you want to find video games and you own a pc and stuff they're the place they're the best they're the place to go for the best video game sales but that doesn't excuse them for having a lot of overpriced stuff but again, it could be because of taxes and inflation. Yeah, that was a weird point to try and like justify. But still, moving on to the next point. Companies who hold... I'm going to I'm gonna be reading for the article, by the way. Companies who hold a dominant position... Uh, this is the PC Gamer article, by the way. I'm sorry, enough with the interruption. Companies who hold a dominant position in the market are not allowed to charge excessive and anti-competitive prices, Millenberg says, as Steam owes us .com .uk. I, I did also visit this website. It's all just to talk about the fucking thing itself. That's it. She basically brings up a lot of points saying like up to 30% of the rate of commissions for Steam games sold on Steam is 30%, which is basically if you want to sell a game on Steam, then yeah, you have to pay like 30% of the shit to Valve. Although they, I'm pretty sure they have an alternate compromise where if you sell enough copies of your game, you get like, they only take like 10% or something. But that's if you sell like in the millions, I think, or you sell enough game copies of it, digital copies mainly. Anyways, there are other point, there are other key stats saying that 74,000 plus games available on our wait what the fuck what's this key stat the number of games available on steam's platform 14 million number of pc gamers in the uk who could have been overcharged by valve 13 year olds if you're 13 and you own a steam account you may be viable for this stuff and 656 million pounds is the total amount of compensation that has been estimated and owed by valve's uk customers 
There's this one that there's this key stat where it says 22 pounds, 20, 22 pounds to 44 pounds is the amount of money affected by the gamers that could be owed. Again, the whole pricing thing, that's like I, I already brought that up. The whole that could be because of taxes and inflation and also other places do the same thing. But as for the whole commissions thing, I'm going to be real with you. I think, honestly, if you do want to get your game out there, you have two compromises. Either start it up on GitHub and wait until like it gets successful. Or, honestly, Steam. Honestly, because I do think Steam is the best way to get your game out there and find a good audience because everybody uses it. And to talk about competitors, we believe Valve Corporation has been unfairly shutting down the PC, the competition for PC games and game content, which has meant UK customers have paid too much for these products. What she means by this is basically that the competitive scene for like game launchers has been ruined by Valve. Look, the other comp it's the other competitors' fault that they're not doing as well as Valve, okay? You have Ubisoft, who with their whole Uplay shit, that shit is already compatible with Valve, okay? They've kind of just fo forked over with them. Blizzard, I mean, that's Blizzard, okay? You're paying for subscriptions. I don't know if you really want to do that with Steam, so... Yeah, plus, I'm pretty sure Blizzard does not make that many games, and they're not a launch-based kind of thing. And Epic Games, I mean, that's Epic Games. But look, I, I okay, I'll be real with you. I like Epic Games. I think it's pretty cool and stuff. I like the whole free games thing that they were doing, but honestly, I've, over the years, I think they've kind of fallen off the whole free game stuff. And not to mention, whenever it comes to launching a game on their website, dude, the controller support honestly sucks ass. And I'm pretty sure you can't, there's not that many, like, customizable options with them. Like, there's not even a Steam overlay, which, like, I get, like, you shouldn't be copying your competitors, but honestly, copying competitors, like, honestly helps a long way. As if you copy, if you look at your comp competition, see what they're doing, you could honestly just echo off that and make something that somewhat can rival that. But yeah, and also controller ports, ass, I already brought that up, sorry. But I do think it's cool that they have an Unreal Engine that you can instantly download from them. That I think is cool. Like, if you want to be a game developer, go ahead. I don't mind if you use Epic Games. Epic Games. I just stopped using it because, honestly, I don't really see the point of using it, with, even though they have a lot of free games on there. But, uh, yeah. That point aside, going back to commissions, I mean, the whole 30% thing. I mean, I honestly think that Steam is honestly the best place you want to go to if you want to get your game out there. Sure, there's other places like GitHub and Valve, not Valve, fucking Epic Games, but honestly, I think Steam's the best place because most of the people, most gamers, most PC gamers, honestly do use Steam. It's the most reliable source, and it's honestly the best place to voice your complaints to the game developers, not Valve themselves. Not to mention, I mean, Valve does have great support when it comes to account recovery as well. Uh, I'll bring this up real quick. I, w I almost fell for a Steam report. Uh, thing which almost cost me five hundred dollars i'm not gonna get into the specifics but yeah and steam was honestly really reliable in helping me recover my account now i have no idea how account recovery works on epic games but from what i've heard this is alleged by the way is that apparently whenever someone reports that their account's been hacked and stuff literally epic games will just ban that account that epic that account and then proceed to ban yours for being an Echo. That might have been just a meme, but I don't know if that's true or not. So if you do want to actually, you know, do this whole suing thing and get some compensation from Valve, I mean, go ahead. I'm not going to stop you. I mean, I don't even, I don't myself don't even live in the UK. So this is kind of a UK thing. I just want to bring that up. But as for Vicky's whole thing, look, I can see where she's coming from. Like, you know, thinking that, oh, people are getting overpriced for stuff. But I honestly think that's more of like, how inflation and taxes work in the government system, okay? Uh, not to mention, fuck, have you seen, like, other countries? Like, they've been getting charged worse. Like, have you seen Australia or Canada? Not to mention, I'm pretty sure you should be confronting fucking Ubisoft for their prices, honestly. But, hey, um, that's kind of it. I mean, Valve is being accused of something bad. And they're probably not going to do nothing like they always do. For God's sake, please fix TF2. But anyways, um, that's kind of all that I got to talk about. What do you guys think? I mean, do you think Valve's in the right or in the wrong? Should Vicky Shotbolt win this case? <laughs> Who knows? It's up to you guys. And do you think you're enabled for compensation? I mean, I'd say go ahead and do it. Be funny. Probably not. Don't do it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's up to you guys if you want to actually, like, you know, help out or sorry sign up for this whole lawsuit thing if you live in the uk but uh yeah that's all i'm gonna talk about and yeah see you later